Over 50 marshals are assigned to each hole, following the ball from tee to green. Although thousands of people all across the United States watch fireworks displays on the 4th of July, it's something that should be left to the professionals with the right equipment. The tents have been raised, the shrubs have been cleared, but critics say the job may have not been done properly. This is a parade that the whole town gets excited for, and the people go down the street as far as the eye can see. Although these safety precautions provide extra help, nothing beats parental supervision. From WROC in Rochester, this is News 8 at 6 in High Definition. Good evening everyone, I'm Brian Dybel. Kevin Doran has off tonight. We're counting down to the PGA Championships, but not all of the action will be on the greens. Some of the biggest plays will be made by local and state business leaders as they're preparing to pitch this region to companies from across the country whose CEOs are in town to watch golf. Despite the high stakes, they say it's one of the best weeks of the year. And just a reminder, we are your official home for all things PGA. The action begins Monday, August 5th with practice rounds, and you can catch all of it here on News 8 WROC. And if you miss anything on air, just head over to our website, rochesterhomepage.net, and click on the PGA banner in the front page. You'll find all kinds of unique content, links, and videos. Tonight, a company whose mission is to give help in an emergency now needs help. Financial help. Rural Metro Ambulance may be close to filing for bankruptcy. The Arizona-based company has defaulted on an interest payment. Rural Metro provides ambulance services for 700 communities across the country, including Rochester. Mayor Tom Richards has been monitoring, monitoring the situation. I've had a telephone conference with the senior management about that about a week ago. Um, the, the good news is we have not seen any degradation in the service locally. We haven't seen that show up. The city's contract with Rural Metro requires certain performance levels. Rural Metro says it's a business as usual as it works, works out its financial situation. Coming up, a round of golf for a good cause. We'll take you to Lakeshore Golf Club where they teed off for Honor Flight. Welcome to Oak Hill Country Club in the 95th PGA Championship. It was a big day at Oak Hill Country Club and not for a reason you may expect. From classroom training to out on the greens, today was all about the marshals. We get to come out, we get to walk the entire uh, hole and show them all the different positions they have so they can really visualize and see what's going on on the hole that they're going to be marshalling. Marshals play an important role on the course. As soon as that last player is putted out, this area here needs to complete shooting, needs to completely clear of spectators so that the players can walk onto the tee. They do everything from watching the balls. If a ball goes outside the ropes, immediately go and protect that ball. To keeping the players safe. But if he gets over here and he's trying to take photos, just a friendly reminder, please get back one arm's length away from the ropes <laughs> right now. Over 50 marshals are assigned to each hole, following the ball from tee to green. And then once they've hit, you can be signaling which way that they're, they're going. Some are first time volunteers. This is the first time I've ever been a volunteer marshal. Um, going to be very exciting. I've been out to the Ryder Cup in Valhalla in Kentucky. So I think this is going to be a more intimate experience though. Very excited. Well, others are seasoned veterans. I volunteered for three of the last five PGA events in Rochester at Oak Hill. Um, they're fantastic. It's a great event and I can't see, there's nothing bad about it. It's a wonderful place, great, great way to hang out. A lot of people, a lot of fun. Although the golfers are the highlight of the championship, the event couldn't happen without these volunteers. We're extremely thankful for all the support that they give us and, and they make Rochester shine for sure as great ambassadors of our community. At Oak Hill Country Club, Brian Dybel, News 8.